कोई हाथ भी ना मिलाएगा अगर गले मिलोगे तपाक से ये नए हिजाज का शहर है जरा आप खास जैसे मिलाकर मशीन पर इन दिस कोविड टाइम्स व्हेन इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू हैव अ वन वन काउंसलिंग और वन वन डिस्कशन नवरचना यूनिवर्सिटी हैज इज ब्रिंगिंग द सीरीज ऑफ अ डिस्कशन वेयर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द करियर आफ्टर ग्रेजुएटिंग फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रीम one of the uh, question that a student and a parents face after graduating from a 12th standard is that what student should pursue in a future so that he can make a good career in that and uh, today we have one such topic with us uh, we are going to discuss about uh, a career after pursuing btech in a mechanical engineering uh, i am ravi sevak assistant professor at uh, nadasna university uh, in the mechanical engineering department with my colleagues we will be discussing on this particular topic and to discuss this we have dr uh, amrish bhargujar associate professor and head of department in mechanical engineering we have our dr kedar patel associate professor in mechanical engineering we have our dr hidal pari assistant professor in mechanical engineering and we have mr arif khan uh, assistant professor in a mechanical engineering department uh, so without any delay let us uh, start the discussion and the very first question which uh, comes into the mind of any student is that uh, what is engineering and uh, what exactly is mechanical engineering so i'd like to ask this question to dr kedar patel so what do you think about this thank you ravi uh, beginning with what is mechanical engineering is uh, perhaps good place to start with and i would like to bring forward uh, uh, the broader perspective of uh, what is mechanical engineering and that may help us in our subsequent discussions it helps to look at what is engineering and engineering uh, is derived the word engineering is derived from a latin word ingenium meaning cleverness and another latin word means uh, engineer uh, meaning uh, contrive a device mechanical is something pertaining to machines so the definition is very apparent and traditionally this is this definition goes to design construction and maintenance of machine uh, having said this uh, uh, definition of traditional way of looking yeah. machines in today's context machines uh, are not limited to the mechanical boundaries the machines uh, have the range uh, they sweep sweep across the range in size from micro to mega and they require knowledge from various disciplines Uh, in order to construct them uh, engineering uh, therefore need requires input from uh, social sciences physical sciences traditional uh, knowledge uh, economics and environmental construct for accomplishing a task thus there is a clear cut distinction between science engineering and technology and accordingly dynamically this engineering curriculum is uh, maintained the impetus for engineering started from the scientific revolutions of 17th century uh, and these revolutions were about small microscope to big steam engines in those days there were no boundaries between disciplines uh, various disciplines and vaguely all this engineering was understood as civil engineering uh, but these engines and machines when they started to replace uh, the labor mechanical labor of humans and animals it was realized that there is a need to bifurcate mechanical engineering thus mechanical engineering is the first true uh, in a true sense first branch of the engineering and it uh, it was established in 1847 in uk in this days in the 21st century this era also there is a thinning of the boundaries between various disciplines and all of them are tending to be one perhaps an example small example can help you uh, the the health of a machine or a system the system can be simple piping piping joints is monitored with the digital signals and the inference of these signals and corroborating actions invariably are taken by mechanical engineers so uh, and this blurring of the boundaries between these disciplines is because the mechanical processes which are which are prevalent everywhere are are replaced by a combination of hydro uh, pneumatic uh, chemical uh, electrical and so forth and 
this combination is variously uh, known as interdisciplinary and is a complex system and there is awareness towards this interdisciplinary approach. Regardless of that, mechanical basic nature of the mechanical engineering remains the same, which is uh, about development and deployment of machines for, uh, for human needs, human comfort and bringing about a sophisticated, better civilization. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Pata, for such an uh, elaborate uh, uh, definition of mechanical engineering. Uh, one of the things which I can add uh, just in the definition of engineering, which uh, I read and which I found uh, very apt uh, in uh, you know any uh, you know in any context in any era, is uh, uh, given by uh, Professor Randy Bosch in one of his book, The Last Lecture, and he writes in the introduction of the book that engineering is not all about getting perfect solution. But engineering is all about uh, making the best from what is available. Okay, so after uh, learning that what is mechanical engineering, the second question which can come uh, to the mind is that uh, what mechanical engineers do? And uh, I would like to ask this question to Dr. Hiral Parik. Uh, let us please let us know that uh, what mechanical engineers do after graduation. Thank you, Ravi. Uh, as Dr. Hiral Parik has mentioned, in his brief discussion uh, that mechanical engineering is one of the oldest branch and uh, which normally deals with the motion uh, start from the component to a big machineries to a human being normally the mechanical engineers they can uh, put the ideas you know, into the realities by using their technical knowledge by using their creativity by using their analytical different analytical tools and this has happened this, uh, this will come into the reality because mechanical engineering they will cover the very wide areas yes. like it covers robotics, it covers automation and control, it covers the system design, it covers the thermal engineering, machine design, fluid mechanics, computational fluid dynamics, then it covers 3D printing, it covers LTO manufacturing, it covers the quality control, production planning and lot more. Right. Uh, also, in the past few years, there is a loss of technological advancement and the technological tools, they have grown so uh, rapidly that they have created a new scope for the mechanical engineers. Uh, uh, if I give you a simple example, let us say that the computer added engineering that normally involves the computer added design, which is normally a software, to a computer integrated manufacturing that uh, normally deals uh, with the CNC machines which involves a biochemical analysis too, right? So this particular tools, they have further broadened the scope for mechanical engineers. So I can say that the mechanical engineer uh, application you will find, the mechanical engineering uh, you will find in the place, uh, in, like, in the defense industries, the mechanical engineering, in engineering you will find in the defense, where you can design, manufacture, you can do automation, you can do maintenance of the different weapons, like guns and missiles. You can find the mechanical engineering application in the chemical industries where you can design and manufacture the different chemical plants and uh, different chemical uh, uh, instruments. Uh, you can find uh, this application, the mechanical engineering application in the field of transportation sectors uh, like automobile, aerospace industries, uh, aeronautical industries uh, and uh, shipping industries. You can also find uh, the main uh, application of the mechanical engineering in the biomedical where uh, the mechanical engineer can give their inputs in designing and manufacturing of the medical equipments uh, especially they have a huge application uh, to create uh, artificial limbs, uh, to create the pacemakers, to create uh, 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 different uh, dialysis machines so uh, in general I can say that the mechanical engineering we normally say that it is the evergreen branch right because this particular branch, this particular discipline has covered a so wide area that it really gives the opportunity to any person to uh, pursue their dreams, to pursue their uh, career you know, in the area in which they are interested in. Right? Thank you Dr. Hiral Parikh for a detailed answer on what mechanical engineers uh, do. I would like to add to what she has said. Uh, yes, it is indeed a uh, difficult task to, uh, to define the scope of mechanical engineering. Uh, although uh, the few things that has that is started to come up is uh, uh, green engineering, uh, sustainable technologies, 
renewable technologies and environmental engineering. So these days, uh, uh, the curriculum of mechanical engineering, which is fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, heat transfer, are uh, taken over to environmental engineering. So it's a widely useful thing uh, in the environmental engineering. And the motto of green engineering and sustainable technology is to uh, fish, is to design an efficient uh, machines, instrumentation, reusable, environmentally friendly thing, which is which is the very much core of the mechanical engineering. Uh, on top of that, there are certain emerging uh, branches such as you know advanced robot robotics and nanotechnology. Uh, the very uh, the input from the mechanical engineering is very very essential. Uh, apart from that, there are certain offsprings like production engineering, automobile, uh, industrial engineering, aerospace. These are needless to say within the scope of mechanical engineering. Well, thank you very much uh, for adding to that uh, part. Uh, I would like to add something on uh, the career here. Uh, we have already discussed about the kind of uh, industry where mechanical engineers usually cater. But uh, <clears throat> if we look at in terms of the jobs, uh, then uh, I feel that uh, there are there the private sector jobs which are available. Uh, we all are aware of a name of companies like uh, I know uh, last night we know Reliance, we know SR, uh, and there are a number of companies that we can name here. So these are all the private sector companies from a small scale to you know big uh, uh, multinational corporations where uh, usually mechanical engineers scatter. Uh, there are government sector job uh, jobs as well. So like there is a recruitment which happens at the central uh, government. Government of India recruits and all the state governments also need uh, uh, you know mechanical engineers for the you know various roles in their uh, departments. Uh, apart from that, there is a huge uh, you know job opportunity in the public sector undertakings. Uh, we all are aware uh, of uh, you know names uh, names of uh, you know uh, IOCL, you know BHEL, ONGC. Uh, so these are also the you know public sector undertakings where uh, you know student uh, students are offered a job. For that, they definitely have to uh, clear one exam, which is called as a GAIL Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. But after that, there is a good career uh, students can make in this uh, private sector undertakings. Uh, uh, then uh, the three wings of defense, uh, you know, Navy, Air Force, and uh, military also, you know, recruits, uh, you know, mechanical engineers. Uh, then there are, uh, you know, defense, uh, uh, what I can say, research institute like a DRDO, which also needs mechanical engineer. We know, you know, in a space uh, India, uh, we have a ISRO in India, which recruits mechanical engineer. We have an atomic, uh, you know, uh, center, Baba Atomic Research Center in Mumbai, BARC, where, you know, mechanical engineers are required. Uh, apart from that, uh, 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 just if we don't look at the core mechanical engineer uh, uh, jobs, <coughs> which are traditionally said, uh, then there are software industries, uh, you know, uh, where mechanical engineers required because of their analytical skills, because of their problem solving skills, uh, they feel that you know uh, mechanical engineers can be a really good programmers, and so the companies like uh, Tata Consultancy Services, Infosys, Tech Mahindra, these are the companies which hire you know mechan mechanical engineers big time. Uh, uh, because of the advancement in the technology, and as, as computer has entered into the each and every uh, area of uh, life, uh, there is as Hidden and Bradley said, there is a computer aided design, there is a computer aided uh, uh, manufacturing, and so there are softwares uh, uh, which are required uh, to do to for a computer to do the task. And so there are companies like uh, ANSI's and uh, Hypermesh, and these are the companies which are going to hire uh, mechanical engineers. Apart from that, uh, uh, I feel that uh, uh, if a student has an interest and inclination towards the academics, uh, then after pursuing masters and PhD, they can also make a career in uh, academics and uh, be like the uh, teachers, uh, you know, uh, like us, uh, catering the society. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, there is a research, there is a huge scope uh, uh, for a uh, for a research after pursuing mechanical engineering, after pursuing master and uh, uh, you know doctoral studies uh, ahead. So uh, I feel that this is uh, what the career options are uh, there. There are the various types of jobs which are offered to mechanical engineers. And would like to also add here that uh, uh, there are uh, students who have a uh, family business who have who already have their industry set up. If they want to join their you know, family business, they can definitely join. Someone if wants to become an entrepreneur uh, by himself, uh, want to start a new you know company, want to start uh, a new startup, then also I think the the study of a mechanical engineer, uh, mechanical engineering, sorry, uh, helps them a lot. So I would like to add 
to Ravi what you said, please, that uh, now in mechanical engineering, uh, there is also a scope of to pursuing MTech and PhD in uh, various areas, like you can go for MTech in thermal engineering, you can go for uh, production engineering, design engineering, even in robotics, uh, and uh, even government is also supporting higher education where they are providing hands of scholarship uh, 12,500 per month for the MTech students and uh, around 25,000 for the PhD students. Thank you very much. Yeah, I would, I would add to this uh, that, that you know, all, both of you have talked about the core of the mechanical engineering, but they are slightly uh, uh, not limited to core. For example, insurance companies are also employing mechanical engineers in order to assess the work of a machine or a or a plant and for that matter various industries including the reliance that you have mentioned have the team of mechanical engineers for this purpose only and uh, apart from that there are sales, marketing and administrative positions in the corporate world where these are essentially taken over by the engineers and specifically mechanical engineers because of as you mentioned the analytical skills and the overall problem solving skills that we have incorporated in our career. So that is how the, uh, the career is open for all four uh, uh, and non core and how can we forget and how can we forget the you know role of a mechanical engineer in a supply chain right so yeah that's your uh, niche area you may mention it correct thank you so after knowing the, uh, about the careers in the detail one more question which can uh, come to the mind is that uh, what is the standard pay package which is offered uh, to a, a graduate of a mechanical engineer uh, so, uh, I request Adil sir to uh, you know, spread some focus on that. Yeah, thank you Ravi. Uh, just to add, uh, the ultimate aim of everyone is that what do I earn at the end of the day? Being a mechanical engineer, what are the career opportunities? That is what we are talking. But career opportunities, of course, they are pursued on the basis of how much I am going to earn out of it. So, one of the foremost uh, opportunities in India that I would come across is if a student is pursuing uh, a career in uh, public sector sectors, so a student uh, or an engineer will be earning anything around say 10, 10 lakhs to 15 lakhs per annum when he goes to a public sector. But if you talk about uh, private sector companies, MNCs, uh, for companies like MG Motors, who have MG Motors, Larsen and Tubro, Inox India. They had come to our uh, to Navasa University and offered a packages of minimum uh, from six lakhs to uh, eight lakhs per annum. Now these are the one who are in the green layer. Now if I'm talking about the ancillary uh, units, go for a medium scale industries or even for a small scale industries or to some kind of an industries which are available around. So in that cases, uh, they can get any package around 3 lakhs to 6 lakhs is always available for this. Now this is when uh, the student goes around with the skill sets that have been developed as a mechanical engineer during the undergraduation. Just not uh, getting an opportunity as a job seeker and uh, getting the package. The skill sets which are de developed as a mechanical engineer, a student can pursue or have his own venture or join his family business. So in that, depending on the venture, depending on the business that he is mentioning, he can have his own turnover and take his career forward. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Adil sir. Uh, so uh, after knowing about the careers and uh, you know pay packages which are offered by the industry, uh, one more question which can come to the mind of a student and a parent is that what is the future scope in a mechanical engineering? So I request uh, Dr. Nigel Parikh to spread some focus on that. Thank you. As we have discussed in the scope of mechanical engineering, that uh, this branch which covers a number of areas and also carries uh, lots of uh, advanced technological tools which has you know, further extended uh, toolbox for mechanical engineers. Uh, in the recent years, there are lots of research which is going on in the field of materials, lots of research which is going on in the field of uh, different analytical tools and this has further opened a new toolbox for the mechanical engineers. If I mention a few areas uh, like composite materials, trigonometry, cryogenics, nanomaterials, uh, acoustic engineering, uh, then 3D printing, automation and control, mechatronics, uh, sustainable energy resources, green energy, 
uh, all the libraries which is this all are how uh, you know, open the new toolbox for the mechanical engineers. Uh, also, a uh, few more areas they are uh, really giving a scope for mechanical engineers to work with data. Uh, they can the mechanical engineers can pursue their dreams uh, in the field of predecessor smart materials. They can pursue their dreams in the field of network technology. They can pursue their dreams. Or they can pursue their careers in the field of mines, that is a micro electromechanical systems. Okay. They can also uh, do uh, their career, they can, uh, they can pursue their dreams in the field of uh, nano medicines, they can work uh, in the biotechnology, biomedical. These all are the extended features of mechanical engineers. So, mechanical engineering, we can say that as it is covering a broader area, the person has a broader scope to okay. work in this particular. Thank you, Dr. Neeraj Pani, for this. So, uh, after learning and knowing about the career scope in mechanical engineering, what is uh, going to be the future scope of mechanical engineering? Uh, the question which can come into the mind of a parent and a student is that uh, what are the features of a mechanical engineering uh, at uh, Navarashtra University? Uh, I request Dr. Ramesh Pargujar, who is the uh, head uh, of the mechanical engineering department, uh, to spread some focus on this. Sir, please. So before answering this question, let me thank all the panel members for providing valuable information on what is mechanical engineering, what is the future scope of mechanical engineering, what are the skill set required for a mechanical engineer. And uh, now coming back to what is the feature of mechanical engineering uh, program at Navratna University, I would, there are so many features, however I would like to mention 5 to 6 features over here. And the very first feature is uh, highly qualified faculty members. The second one that we are offering project based learning. Third, we are offering choice based education. And uh, we are having uh, interdisciplinary approach of education. And uh, last, uh, we are also focusing on social innovation or, or we can say bringing social awareness among the students. So I would like to discuss each of this feature one by one. Uh, the very first, highly qualified faculty members. We are having a pool of highly qualified faculty members where most of them are PhD holders from the university abroad and a premier institution in India like IITs and NITs. And uh, this uh, faculty members are very much involved in uh, research work. Uh, they are having the, they are doing consultancy work, they are having the projects funded from the government and uh, private sector as well as from the defense. Now coming back to the second uh, feature that is a project based learning. Uh, we are, uh, major portion of our syllabus is focusing on the practicals, hands on, seminars and project. Uh, so this is essential to develop the soft skill among the students as well as this uh, approach of project based learning makes the uh, student industry ready. So our students when they go to the industry from day one they are very much helpful to that particular organization. So that is an important aspect of our uh, uh, teaching. And now uh, third is choice based education which is very much unique to Navratna University. Uh, here, uh, right from second year, the students are uh, in a position to uh, study the subject of their choices. And uh, for that purpose, we are having a basket of core elective. Now, here we are having around 20 subjects in this basket, where students pick one subject in each semester. So, right from uh, second year, they are in a position to decide in which particular area they want to do the, or they want to pursue their career or they want to gain the mastery. And that particularly, this particular approach helped them in uh, going for the further research uh, or for the MTech and for the PhD. Correct. And uh, third or uh, uh, fourth is the interdisciplinary uh, approach of education. And uh, the, we are, why we are focusing on interdisciplinary education? Because nowadays industry uh, demands uh, very much detailed knowledge about their subject, uh, about the core branch. Uh, plus, they are also demanding that students should have uh, 
the working or more than a working knowledge of other subjects or other fields like uh, a mechanical engineer should be knowing about the electrical engineer he should be aware of the civil engineering uh, he should be having good skills in uh, saw in uh, <coughs> programming and all this and obviously he should have communication skill as well as man managerial skill or the management skill and uh, this uh, uh, education is um, imparted through this interdisciplinary uh, courses and uh, which is offered uh, across the university around we are offering 40 such courses and uh, student can uh, choose around 3 to 4 courses of their choices and uh, last but not the least uh, and uh, that is the social awareness or the social innovation project so at last uh, I would like to mention that the sole purpose of our education is uh, we should be helpful to the society and uh, that social awareness at Navarajna University is brought through a specially designed project that is called as Khoj project in which the student goes to the community nearby villages they uh, try to understand the problem that community faces and then they are trying to give the technical solution uh, to those particular problems now here what we are doing we are creating a win-win situation the community gets help from Navaratna University as well as we are bringing the social awareness among our students and they, then they become a responsible citizen so in this way if I need to define in one line what is Navaratna uh, uh, University education then I would say that uh, we are having uh, highly qualified faculty members we are having a project based learning we are having an interdisciplinary approach of education and most important we are making our students socially aware okay. so uh, thank you very much sir for explaining uh, you know how does it feel like to study at the Navarashtan University uh, probably last question of our discussion is that apart from uh, you know uh, uh, the BTEC program that the uh, mechanical engineering department is offering. Is there any other programs which are offered uh, by the university in our mechanical engineering itself? Yeah, very good question. Actually, Navaratna University study is not only limited to undergraduate programs, we are also offering uh, postgraduate program like MTech and PAT. We are offering MTech in thermal engineering, and next year probably we are planning to launch a new program in MTech that is uh, design and robotics uh, and we are offering uh, PhD in all the fields like one can do PhD in production uh, in uh, design and robotics and he can do uh, PhD in thermal engineering also and uh, uh, basically our focus in this uh, postgraduate program in MTech and PhD is on research and quality of research and uh, basically this quality is brought by the faculty members as I said earlier also uh, most of our faculties are PAT holders and they are uh, very much involved in consultancy work in, with industry also they are having lots of projects uh, from uh, uh, government sector like DHT from defense sector like DRDO an important thing I would like to mention over here uh, about MTech program that we are having one year of coursework and uh, second year the students uh, are going to the industry uh, to carry out the research project and most of the time it has been observed that this research project in industry uh, gives them a job offer and uh, here the freedom is also there if someone don't want to go into an industry for the project work then he can work on the live project or the funded project by the faculty and in, in one line if I need to find the MTech uh, and uh, PhD programs over here then it is purely research based and uh, uh, great emphasis or the focus is given on the research. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you Dr. Abhish Bhattujar and thank you all the uh, panel members for uh, joining uh, uh, on this uh, discussion. Uh, I would also like to thank the viewers and listeners uh, who very patiently you know uh, has, uh, uh, has gone through our uh, whole program. Uh, I would like to request all of you that you know if you have any query uh, on a uh, or any question regarding you know the careers in engineering, uh, you can visit Navarashtra University. 
if it is not possible for you to visit our center city, then uh, uh, you can uh, kindly contact us on the you know the toll free number which you are seeing on the screen. And uh, from uh, the Department of Mechanical Engineering, we wish you all the best. Uh, uh, thank you very much.